One of the biggest pains of building a multi-region app is when it comes down to data. So if you only have one database, but your servers live all over the globe, then you've just added a bunch of latency, which kind of defeats the purpose of having a geographically distributed app. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you might deploy a standard CRUD application with a globally distributed Postgres cluster using one simple fly feature. Okay, so you've got instances of your app all over the world, and you'd like to keep your data as close to those servers as possible. Well, you can't very well just copy your database to every region. How would they all stay in sync? They wouldn't. The most common solution is called single leader replication, also known as primary replica, leader follower, and this is something you get out of the box with Postgres. This is where you'd have one primary database that accepts all writes, and then a bunch of read-only copies that are also known as replicas or followers. Any changes to the primary are then copied over to those replicas. It's a practice that provides high availability, so if your leader fails, you can just swap it out with a follower, you don't have to deal with conflicting writes because you're always writing to the same place, and it improves performance on reads when you have all these replicas with which to share the load. There's just one problem. How do you know if a request should go to the primary database or a replica? In other words, how do you know if a request is a write or a read? Well, when building on fly.io, you can spin up a fly Postgres instance with a bunch of replicas and any request will get sent to the closest node. But what we don't do is try and pry open your request to figure out which node we need to send it to based on if it's a read or a write. First of all, that would be a little nosy. Secondly, how would we even know? I mean, sure, wouldn't it be nice if we could just say, oh, route all of the get requests to your replicas and route any post requests to your primary. But that pattern is just convention and not to be trusted. So short of putting something between your application and your database, it's kind of unclear how you'd get the request to the appropriate node. The solution is almost laughably simple. In fact, when I first read about it, I was like, wait, is that allowed? So you start by having your application assume that all nodes can accept both reads and writes. But Annie, that's not even possible. I only have one primary. Correct. The thing is, most of the time, the request will be just fine because apps tend to read more than they write. Now, inevitably, when you try to write to a replica, it will fail, full stop. Okay, so then just send it to the region where your primary lives. This is all possible on fly.io because of fly replay. Fly replay is a header that allows you to replay requests to another fly application, a given region, or even a specific machine. This neat little feature is not just useful for globally distributed databases, but has actually a lot of applications. And if you'd like to learn more, I've got a link down below. If you're looking to scale your Postgres out instead of up, there's a good chance it's because you're looking to scale geographically. And this is what fly does best. It's kind of our whole deal. Our infrastructure makes it easy to serve apps, including data stores, all over the globe. And this technique of using our proxy to redirect writes is very in line with what we do best. We have an entire blueprint on this strategy in our docs, which I'll leave link below, as well as more information about Fly Replay. With that being said, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Bye. A whole blueprint blueprint we have a whole blueprint what's a, what is that annie we have a i can't stop laughing now. <laughs> business face okay shit <sighs> shit <laughs>